up guys how are you all doing and welcome back to another video on the channel and today we have got another match preview and today's match preview is for Swindon versus Warsaw which will be at Warsaw's ground tomorrow night so if you do enjoy this video make sure to like and subscribe to the channel we're on the road to a thousand subscribers and it will mean a lot if we do reach that before the end of 2023 so before we carry on with today's video, I do want to talk about the main sponsor of this channel and the main sponsor in this channel is Dubby Energy. So if you don't know um, about Dubby Energy, they are a jitterless energy drink brand that try to help you guys to focus or regain energy in whatever you're doing, whether it's gaming, playing football, doing any other sport, anything, it will try and help you to regain energy. So yes, Dubby Energy is perfect for any occasion and it is way healthier than any other energy drink brands so if you do want to check out some of uh, the stuff that they offer make sure to go in the link in the description and it'll take you straight to their website and if you do want to consider buying some of their stuff make sure to use code chill19 at the checkout to get 10 percent off thanks to damage energy once again for sponsoring the channel and let's get back into the video so this is going to be another close game, judging by the league table on the screen right now. We are 12th and Warsaw are 14th and we're only separated by 5 points. And another reason we've got to win this game, Warsaw haven't won a single game in their last 12 matches. The last time they've won a game was on the 1st of January against Stockport in the FA Cup when they won 2-1. And in terms of form as well, Swindon are the better side. In the last five games, we have managed to pick up seven points in our last five games, getting two wins, which was against Harrogate and against Salford, one draw and getting two losses. And Warsaw, they have managed to pick up three points in the last five games, getting three draws, no wins and two losses. Uh, Warsaw's last game was against Stevenage. They did lose that game 3-1. Pretty much expected from a good Stevenage side. But the goal scorer for uh, uh, Warsaw was Manny Mumph. And he was the man who scored the late winner when uh, Warsaw was at the county ground when they beat us 2-1. And our last game was against Carlisle. That was a last minute winner from Carlisle. If you haven't seen my vlog yet, make sure to go check it out. Uh, but yeah. Basically, so for the Warsaw fans who didn't see what happened um, in our last game, we went 1-0 down around like the 55th minute. It was a very good goal. So, um, yeah, I, I, was, I wasn't I was surprised that uh, Solbrun couldn't get a hand on it. But then um, we replied with an 80th minute equaliser from Tyree Shade. But that weren't enough because on the 96th minute, Ryan, I think it was Ryan Edmonds, Edmondson, he got the winner for Carl Carlisle and we lost 2-1. So depending on how all the other results are, uh, tomorrow night we can go as high as 10th where uh, currently the time I'm recording this Barrow are and we can go as low as 13th where Tramia are unfortunately for Warsaw fans this game won't mean a as much because if they do win they can't move up the table but if they do lose this game tomorrow uh, the lowest they can finish is 17th so what should we expect from the Warsaw squad tomorrow well we should expect a 3-4-1-2 formation considering that they've had 24 games so far of their 34 in that formation. And uh, attacking wise they're a team that tend to attack either through the middle or on the right. And um, yeah they also are a side that are known to often take long shots as well. That's according to whoscored.com. Uh, so yeah that's probably what we're going to see tomorrow. So now we've talked about what the squad could be like. What about the main players? Who's the main people that we should focus on for tomorrow's game? Well, the first player that I do reckon we should watch out for is Isaac Hutchinson. He's currently the uh, top scorer. Uh, he's joint with another player. I forgot his name, but um, yeah, he's currently on four goals. But for him having four goals and um, being the top scorer at Warsaw is a bit embarrassing. But they are a side that tend to have different goal scorers. Not like, um, what was it? For example, Carlisle, their top goal scorer... Christian Dennis has 17 goals and then the second uh, top scorer has five goals. So, yeah. And the second player that I have gone for for Warsaw is Manny Mumph. Um, the reason I've gone for him, he has done all right for Warsaw this season. And not only that, he did score the last win it, winner for Warsaw when they did play against us at the county ground. And to make it sound even worse, he's only scored two goals this season and one of the goals that he scored was against us so third and final player that i have gone for for warsaw is tom Knowles. he's also put a shift in for um warsaw this season 
managing to get four goals and four assists so far. So now we're on to Swindon. First player that I've gone for is Tyree Shade. He did come in as a sub for us um, in our last game against Carlo, which we did, which we did lose. Um, he's most probably going to be a sub tomorrow as well. But um, yeah, he did come on, make an impact and he did score. Second player that I've gone for is Jacob Wakelin. Um, he's been back to um, scoring some goals now. Um, he did have a long uh, bit of time where he didn't score, but now he's managed to get two goals in four games. Hopefully he does score tomorrow because, uh, yeah, he'll be a massive impact. The third and final player that I've gone for for Swindon is Charlie Austin. Most recent games, he hasn't done as well. He hasn't uh, bagged a goal in a three games, three, four games, I think it was. But, um, yeah, it does happen sometimes. Hopefully... He can make an impact tomorrow because we're definitely going to have to win against Warsaw. If we don't, it's going to be a bit embarrassing considering they've only won um, one in 13 games, I think it was. So, yeah, we've got to win. So now the final part of the video is my prediction. Now, I did say we've got to win this game. And I think that's uh, going to happen. I reckon it will be Swindon 2, Warsaw 1. I reckon it's going to be a really close game. Um, already seen by the table. We're 12th there. Um, 14th when we're only separated by 5 points so it's going to be a seriously close game and I reckon it'll be 2-1 to swing them so guys that is the end of the match preview if you did enjoy this one make sure to like and subscribe to the channel because I always do videos like this and I want to try to get to a thousand subscribers as well before the end of 2023 and it'll mean a lot if we do reach that and also thanks to W Energy for sponsoring the channel once again, if you do want to check out some of their stuff that they offer, make sure you go in the link in the description. And if you do want to buy some of their stuff, make sure to use code CHILL19 at the checkout. Anyway, that's all from me. Let's hope we can get the three points tomorrow night. You know what to do. Chill. <laughs>